Broadcasting live from downtown Canton, Ohio, since 1925. A lot of folks concerned. You know, we're, 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 all, we're looking forward to those Google cars, self-driving cars. And, oh, it's going to be oh, fun. Be we can, awesome. can kind of read the newspaper while we're driving. And then comes the report that your car that might be your best friend in that respect may actually be able to be hacked in which case safety concerns are just through the roof. All right, and that's why on our WHBC Newsline right now, we bring in cybersecurity expert Mark Gigliotti. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Hey, thank you so much for joining us. This is a real scary proposition to have our cars hacked and taken over by someone, isn't it? Uh, Yes, it is. Um, But like all new technology, um, there are holes in the applications, and as as the years go by... uh, They'll, they'll get them all plugged eventually. Well, do you think they'll ever get them completely plugged, or is this going to be an ongoing concern, like our security of our of our finances online? Yeah, I mean, it's, it, they'll never get it 100. percent I mean, especially since somebody can buy a car, under, understand the security, um, break it apart. I mean, they may spend lots of money to do it, but if they really want to get into it, um, I don't see how they can plug it 100. percent Wow. Now I noticed that Fiat Chrysler was launching a voluntary recall of, what was it, 1.4 million cars, trucks, and SUVs out of caution because uh, it was, the, was the test done, I think, on a Chrysler Jeep, I think? Oh, yes, it was done on a Chrysler Jeep, and the two people who did it were working with Chrysler on this for the last uh, almost 12 months, so they were hired, it's like all corporations hire a hacker to try to break their network. Um, they were probably hired to break this network, and they made it into a... Uh, Big news media in order to uh, help get get the word out. Plus, um, um, Jeep got a little bit of press over it. All right. Well, I guess the good news is, is Chrysler was proactive in this. It was the it was the white hat guys who did the hacking, trying to make sure they can get these cars secured in the future. Oh, well, that's that's correct. All right. So, um, what what other concerns do you see out of all of this? Uh, it, yeah, I mean, can they? Well, how far can they go if if they hack into your car? How far can they go? Well, they. Um, I mean. Most of the manufacturers are, have already announced that they're breaking the uh, operating system away from the entertainment system, which I would have thought they would have done from day one. But um, they're going to break the two apart so that way it's on two different networks, and there's no way you can get on into the operating system uh, via the entertainment. Uh-huh. So that's, uh, that's, I mean, it's the same concept that the airlines are using uh, when you fly um, cross-country on, on a Wi-Fi plane. I mean, the pilots were concerned that on my Wi-Fi, can they break into my operating system? We're on two completely separate networks made the two don't talk to each other and it's, it'll be a heck of a lot safer well that makes more sense now because the chrysler's it's it, and in all vehicles at this point they're all connected a lot of them are um i mean chrysler just came out with a patch to fix that problem um the rest of the manufacturers are coming on I me mean, the, the toyota's had a car out that can drive herself from i have a friend that drove from dallas to austin uh, without even touching the steering wheel well they've probably got a vulnerability in their car but uh, after this news media blitz, the party are coming up with the code to, to fix all that. All right, but we don't, at, at this point, though, you don't see much problems for the typical American driver, me driving to work, some uh, some kid who's a drone flyer uh, outside no, hacking into no. my car. That's not going to happen, huh? No, no, not, not for a car. It's going to take a lot more sophistication. I mean, these guys spend a lot of man hours um, coming up with the uh, hack. Um, now, they went out in public, publicly broadcast and how to do it, then, then you would have a problem. They didn't do that. Got it. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, thank you so much. Uh, Mark Gigliotti, a uh, cybersecurity expert, runs an IT company. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. Good, thank you. Pam Cook and Gary Rivers. We love you, too. Canton's Morning News. News Talk 1480, WHBC, and at whbc.com.